Welcome everyone. That's where we got to so far. We got good flywheel motion going there. Uh, gonna get together. This should be the last one. We only got like two or three steps left to go. 18, 19, three steps left to go. And uh, but I say so far it's coming together. It's a you know airy lightweight thing, so you're gonna be able to see all the the motion as it goes. But uh, that being said, let's pull a couple of pieces and get to work. I do need P2, so the key for the drive, and one of the E, E12, so yeah, one of the little donut looking doodads. Um, where you belong. Okay, now that one and we take, what is it, oh yeah, the solid guy, the one with the clutch in the middle of it, goes in, let's see, oh, it's actually going on to this structure, so this goes through this hole, gets the donut on it, then you screw it on back here. Ooh. All right. Um, bring the big structure back. I'll get to put our mainspring in. Sort of interesting, weird to think about it. The, the, the mainspring is mounted down here rather than the heart of the clock, so that's that's cool. <laughs> Let's see, going like they do not have a good. We're doing it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how it goes into the slot. Right. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Then the pin has got a, a slot down the middle of it. Goes into uh, let me get a pointer, something to use a pointer. Got that flat part in the middle of the spring. The slot goes on either side of that. Easier to do. Let's see, line it up and try to get that on the first try. No, well, it came off again, but yeah, <laughs> basically I did. Okay, that's going to be easier to line up. Yeah, okay, that is on there. Then everything stayed mounted. That's on there. That's on the bottom. I'll bring this step two. Just put the foot in over on this side. And this goes into that peg there. The Back of the gear into there. See that? Yeah, there it is. Then four is the other foot. Come on. Five 
add this bottom piece here into place. Six, this top piece. spinning this thing's not hooked up to anything but it'll okay so it's gonna go yeah as it, it tightens up that'll that'll okay yeah I hope that collided in the right place <laughs> although I I don't think it'd be much of a nightmare to get it back off if I've got to reassemble that whole assembly, but I shouldn't. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay. So we got six. Yep. Yeah. So that's that was step eighteen. Got pretty good assembly going there. That's nice. I like it. And how much time did that take? Six minutes. Okay. 19 is okay we're down to just three gear assemblies cool so the one that's sort of curvy we're working from get the side with the hand on it goes in that way where are you going to okay to these slots here. So, and I want to check measurements before I put them on. Still four and a half. Four and a half. Go. Yeah, the second hand goes. Where you hook up? Okay, it's just second hand much faster than our hand. I guess we'll go this away. <laughs> That's cool. I'm digging it. Okay, now take this guy. Face in this direction, check the measurements one more time on you. Just under five, I think that was the, the sixth one, whatever. Okay, and you go up from the bottom. Okay, so this one goes here and there. Back there, you see my <laughs> back here. And here. Go in from the bottom, it says. Caddy corner to get in. And. These are getting more complicated. And you, and I think that one fell out again. Get you to pop in place. Maybe there, that one's in place. That one came out again. You're in place. So this one. Okay, so we got everything moving now. All these guys are interconnected so that's cool see the second hand going and the minute hand slowly going <laughs> or second hand yeah second hand hour hand so this is actually this is a minute hand I'm calling it second but it's, yeah, it's a minute 
that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, nice. Okay. So everything tied together now, so I'm assuming this one's next. <laughs> You I'll check my measurements again. This one. I don't think this one had. I think it just said this side was the four and a half, and it just said whatever's left over on the back on that side. Okay, and you go right here. So it's going to tie to our drive gear. You go in. Yep like that, that part to the back. Yeah. And I just saw that. Okay, and that one came out, put you back in. And this one came out, put you back in. Let's mesh these gears again. Get you to go, all right, so. Okay, so everybody's together. Yay! <laughs> well, I got so concerned with putting gears and cogs and everything on that I forgot to pull parts. Because I need C12 and C15. <clears throat> C12 and 15. All right. writing down just because that's sort of the inside I guess <laughs> okay would you stay everybody stayed in place <laughs> all the gears are Yep, everybody's still together. Everybody's turning, yeah. No, that was not there, that's that's better. <laughs> Alright. I think we're good on that. Okay. <clears throat> and oh, then twelve goes on the bottom, right between those two. Just structural support, I'm sure. snug. <laughs> okay. All right. And that's step 19. And step 20 is putting our pendulum in. Pendulum. Pendulum. <laughs> I keep wanting to put an N on that instead of an M. And you go. Where do you go? <laughs> okay. Goes here to here. Let's go down the backs. Yeah. Right. And a pause for my cat uses the litter box. Okay, she's completed her business. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just sort of got to go in and catty corner there to. Get it to slide in there just right. You here and you 
here. Are you going to be... It looks like it's going to be... I think that'll work once it gets going. Okay. Got you lined up. Okay. Da -da -da -da. And that's it. Looks like basically the tips after that, just got to make sure it's on a level surface, which I think this is close enough to level, and then we... Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Just like that is working. Both cool and satisfying. <laughs> You're seeing the most interesting part right up there where it's the pendulum is kicking it. Of course, there's not a second hand, so it really is just a matter of watching it for minutes. <laughs> hmm, well, what I think I'll end up doing... Come on, dude. <laughs> hope it doesn't do that very often. I'll probably pull down the um, tripod and sort of focus on it and just do like let it record for like 45 minutes an hour and speed it up so you can actually see huh. okay once again you need to quit doing that <laughs> it in motion hopefully I'm hoping that's just a matter of getting the wax worn in that's why that pendulum keeps stopping So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll stop talking here for a minute. I'll do that. Come on, guys. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we can get this, like I say, get this wax burnished in. And uh, it'll actually show the good motion as I do it, as the on the high speed thing. It may take a little while to get this going right though. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'll, uh, I'll do that and I'll talk to you again after uh, I've shown that. So be back after that.
Okay, folks, long story short, I don't, I can't seem to make it work. I can, if you remove the pendulum, everything goes, but you put the pendulum back on, it'll run for a second or two, or a minute or two, I guess, more appropriate, and then decide, no, it's not going to go anymore. So, like that. And if you look, here's the, get in there, if I can, there's the points of contact for the pendulum there, and there, it's not going to focus on that, I don't, but it's, there's not enough, that shouldn't be enough to stop it. I've tried adjusting the pendulum weight. But see, it just doesn't want to go. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'll look through the tips and tricks and everything here, and hopefully I can find out. You know, it. I even took it and put it on my kitchen countertop to make sure it was level, and it is. Uh, so I'll go through the tips and tricks and see what they have to say, and hopefully I can get, find something out and be right back. Okay. Their troubleshooting tips... I don't understand, so that was fairly useless. <laughs> uh, but I started it a few minutes ago, and it's since kept going. Now that I'm showing it to you, it'll probably stop. But that, you know, it's a cool concept. You know, I never expected it to be a real time-keeping clock, so that's wasn't really. But I, I just like seeing the mechanisms and the gear ratios and everything going. Now I'm tempted to stop again and start again to see how long it keeps going. Just run the battery out and speed it up for you. <laughs> I keep waiting on it to stop now. <laughs> I've been burned too many times. Uh, wait. What is I do like this. This was a fun build. Much quicker than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a highly involved two-week build and did it in what, five days that's not bad at all uh, as long as it keeps running it feels good maybe it was just a matter of getting that wax burned it burnished in on the pendulum top up there maybe that's finally worked out but the uh, I don't let's say it it gives troubleshooting tips but it, it doesn't really explain it says Please try the parts from number 1-4, but I don't know what 1-4 is. <laughs> There's no... I don't know what they're talking about as far as that part goes. But, like I say, now it seems to be feeling like it's going to work for a while, so... Good on them. Uh, start up a new project tomorrow. It's a fun one. I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's a clockwork solar system. So the, the sun's in the middle and it shows all the planets rotating around at different rates. What was that? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I've got off something fell over. Okay. <laughs> but I think that'll be fun. Another, you know, I do expect it to be a highly complicated. It's at least double the number. I think it's 300 pieces where this is 160. But this is pretty, this is pretty cool. I'm, despite my issues with it getting going, which now seems to have fixed itself, uh, I really did enjoy this one. This is a fun little build. I like... You know, I like the being able to see stuff and the the inner workings and the mechanisms and sort of figuring out how they work and mesh together. So that's that's always fun. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I am just going to leave it here, sort of focused on the the dials and the pendulum there, and I'm just going to let this my battery run out and I'll speed it up if it keeps going. And till then, thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share, do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.
Okay guys, it appears to have magically fixed itself. I'll tell you what, one thing that did happen. The uh, pin in the bottom of the pendulum fell out. <laughs> and that seems to have... Maybe this was providing too much inertia for it to fight against. I don't know. But that did help, it appears. Cool. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed the build. Tune in tomorrow for some more. Thanks for watching.